Neil Young wants his music pulled from Spotify over Joe Rogan's misinformation. Report. The old school rocker is sick of Spotify giving a platform to anti-vaccine nonsense through the Joe Rogan experience. It's funny, you never even use that terminology anymore. The Joe Rogan experience. It's called that, but you always just say, oh, I heard that thing or that on guy Rogan. was on that guy was on Rogan. Yeah. Yeah, sure. But uh, either way, Neil Young is upset. He's joining the list of, I guess, upset Spotify workers as well that are upset with uh, uh, Rogan's show. And so he's putting his, he's trying to leverage his catalog. But interestingly, he also has sold a portion of his catalog. Anyway, he wants all his music pulled from the streaming service as quickly as possible, according to an open letter. Uh, he doesn't like the misinformation. The podcast host who signed a hundred million dollar. Yeah, we are. We all know Rogan's deal. I am doing this because Spotify is spreading fake information. It's weird to say Spotify is spreading fake information. Like, I don't, why do people have to oversimplify it so much? Like, we're two years old. I think Spotify. Because, uh, hey, Spotify, stop spreading. What? These are platforms. People talk on platforms. Yeah. It's an outlet. And uh, I, if I, you're kind of, uh, you know, having, like, you you own the outlet, essentially. Why do we have to agree? Why do we have to, why does it be so, I don't know. They Everyone, that's the, the thing now. You go for the, you go and target the employer or the, yeah. the. the uh, that's why everyone's just like, I'm going to take it the to the corporate office. The sponsor office. or whoever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You demand to speak to the. It, we're not capable anymore of just making up our own decision and saying, oh, I don't want to listen to, I'm going to personally not be a Spotify customer. Okay, cool. But these demands and the severity of it and um, anyway, whatever, people are passionate, including Neil Young. And so he wrote an open letter to his managers. That's interesting. They can have Rogan or Young, not both. Okay. So that's the ultimatum. Well, I, there's been a lot of um, uh, pressure already from Spotify employees internally and other mm -hmm. people publicly. I'm not sure why this would be the thing to put it over the top. I'm not sure mm -hmm. that this would be the one thing that all of a sudden uh, Spotify management is, is like, oh, well, Neil Young said it, so, yeah. so now we're done. Uh, okay, so apparently the statement was on Young's website. Why are you laughing at it? Are you belittling uh, Neil Young? No, I like <laughs> Neil Young, man. I, I like Neil Young. It just It's kind of presumptuous that to think that you have that kind of leverage. Right. Where you're putting an ultimatum on Spotify. You're saying you can have one or the other, but not both. What if it was like Drake? <sighs> I mean, it's a different amount of leverage. Yeah. Right now, in terms of plays, it's a different amount of business for them in terms of plays. But even, there's no way Drake would do that. It's Drake or Rogan, uh, not both. There's no, it could be a meme. I, I don't know. I, I just, it's, uh, I don't know what way you would go about this, but I just think it's a little bit disconnected. It's, I'm sure it's possible. Yeah, maybe talk it out. It's possible that this is the thing that puts Spotify over the top, but unlikely based on every all the pressure that's already been right. applied to the situation. Yeah, I hear you. And and so that's all I'm saying. Well, it's mm -hmm. nothing against uh, Neil Young. He's he, he's 76 years old. I mean, he's a legend. He can. He may have even been on Rogan's podcast at one time. I don't even know. But he, yeah, what well, I just hope that maybe they can get together and. Have a talk. Who? Man to man. Oh, you think that's... A, you're going conspiratorial. This is a way to promote the eventual no, 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 no. episode, just... crossover episode, where they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, Young versus Rogan in the in the debate. That's not what I was thinking. Okay. I was just hoping, like, maybe Rogan just be like, hey, just come on the show. Let's talk out, like, man to man. Yeah. So... Well, uh, I, I yeah, know. I don't know. That would be fun. Um... Yeah, it's yeah. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of d demanding 
that uh, the, the, the platforming stuff, like hey, who's on what and who listens. I, I prefer to have stuff out there and have the ability to choose and, 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 and decide what I want to listen to, what I agree with, what I don't agree with, what I, you know, that's mm -hmm. my take as a listener. Yeah. And, and so, and I don't necessarily want one musician on Spotify to decide what's on there and not on there, regardless of what the, I mean, I guess there probably could be some topics that would be even more uh, sensitive. Yeah. You, know, you try to think about a scenario in which like Spotify has been stood by him mm -hmm. and it's been a lot of, you know, but, but business too. Business too, hundred million dollars. I mean, and, we're talking about Spotify and every right time now. his name gets brought up, whether it's from Neil Young or someone else, there's the headline, there's the word Spotify over again. Yeah. And so it's like they keep counting all your controversies, except they count it in the ledger. Mm -hmm. They count it somewhere else. Yeah. I don't know. Are they breaking any laws? I don't know. 